it's Nick with the Peoria Riverfront Museum with another science video from our virtual museum. Today we're going to do chemistry on my safety goggles. We're going to do a chemical reaction with hydrochloric acid and aluminum. So the hydrochloric acid is hydrogen chloride in water. So I'll go ahead and pour it in here, which is where we're going to do the reaction. And then the aluminum, I've got as aluminum foil, which is basically pure aluminum with the outside covered in aluminum oxide. So kind of like iron rusts and turns to iron oxide rust. Uh, same thing with aluminum, except when it turns into aluminum oxide, it's actually stronger and protects the aluminum inside. So I'll go ahead and crumple this into a little ball. We'll dump it into the hydrochloric acid. It's got to get through that uh, aluminum oxide layer. And once the hydrochloric acid gets through that layer, it'll get to the pure aluminum and will start to react vigorously. And what's happening with chemistry, you get two chemicals kind of switching electrons or switching atoms or molecules around. Right now the uh, chlorine in the hydrochloric acid is uh, combining with the aluminum into uh, aluminum chloride, which is a salt, but it'll be dissolved in the water. And then the hydrogen is just flying away. Hydrogen is very flammable. Let's see if I can just catch a little bit of it on fire as it rips away. No. Maybe not. As you can see, the gas floating up. Hydrogen is also very light. It's the lightest element in the universe. So it's lighter than all the other gases in the atmosphere, and it floats up. It's also hot. This reaction is creating heat. If I put my hand onto the container, I can feel it much hotter. And if we look now, we've eaten away all of the aluminum. That's kind of what acids do. They react with things that eat away things. In fact, we have hydrochloric acid that's produced inside of our stomachs which helps us eat away uh, the food that our stomachs are, are digesting. So we're left with hydrochloric acid. Uh, the aluminum is all gone, um, and I'll have to get rid of this later by just throwing in more aluminum until all the acid is gone before I can dump it away safely. Hope you enjoyed that chemical reaction. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And thanks, as always, to museum members and Visionary Society members for your support of the museum. See you next week.